Well, good evening on tonight's episode of Casey and Grumpy Do Things. Uh, we're going up to Big Lake up on top of Sanium Pass. And there is one of those like off-road expedition camp trailers. Uh oh. Who is off-roading and expeditioning? <laughs> Can you guess what happened? Um uh, you blew a tire. I no, the tire's fine, it's just no longer attached to the trailer. Oh and he's out on a trail. Uh -oh. So we gotta go get it and like get it picked up off the ground and out of there so they can uh, get back to so they can tow it wherever home. they need to tow it. Huh? Yep. So we're headed up on top of Sanium Pass. Didn't wash your windshield. It looks fine to me. Yeah, look at this side though. Yeah. I'm not sitting over well, there, so I'm only worried about this side. <laughs> Yeah, we just skipped about an hour and a half of driving and now we're out on the Forest Service Roads up on top of Sanium Pass. And uh, it rained along the way, so my windshield is clean now. At least on my side. Yours is a little dirty over there. But uh, we're gonna go try to find a customer up here and then head out to see where their trailer is. It's been a while since I drove this truck. Yeah, that's right. I'm very happy to have it going again. It's even better than it was before now, because the boom works. Yeah, we're ahead of the game. Yeah. All right, so we have found our customer. They went and uh, got themselves a U-Haul trailer, and we're going to go out into the woods uh, on the Forest Service Road, get their trailer, and try to get it up onto that trailer with this wrecker so that they can tow it home. You think it's going to work? Yep, because I think you're going to hook that trailer to the back of this and winch it onto that bar trailer. I don't know if I brought the trailer hitch for this truck, so... Okay. We'll see. You know what we'll do? We'll make it up as we go and pretend like we know what we're doing. Well, it works every time. Yeah. There's the view of the mountain. Yep. This road isn't that bad. I could have brought the dollies and just put it on the dollies and dollied it out of here. Yep, you don't have the dollies. Yeah, I don't have the dollies. That's the problem. Uh, when this truck had the ram taken out of it and we had to go tow a Grand Cherokee that you saw in a previous video, I put the dollies in my other truck and I never put them back in this one. So, uh, yeah, I don't have dollies. That'd make this really easy. I would think two strong men could take four little trees out of the road. You know, one of these days I'm going to remember to bring my chainsaw with me when I come to the woods. I've been thinking about buying one of those electric ones. I have one. You do? Yeah, it's awesome. I'll let you try it out. Oh, it's an off-the-road trailer. Yeah. Let's uh, go check out what we got going on. I know it's been a while, but do you remember how to do this? Not really. Did you know to begin with? No. Especially since you're holding the camera backwards? No. <laughs> How's that? You happy now? It might make them happy. Yeah. <laughs> this is our project off the road trailer and they broke the axle. Um, the Normally it's the, the, the suspension mount will break. This sheared the spindle. Yeah. Looks like that bottom part of it was cracked for a bit. Yeah. That's one of the first things I noticed. That's yeah. been there a while. This is all fresh break. Yeah, so that bottom part looks like it's been cracked for a while then that finally sheared off. Right through the grease hole. See that? Yep. I really don't like that grease hole either. <laughs> I would bet. <laughs> What's weird though, the other one, the grease hole is on the bottom because they just reversed the whole thing. It didn't start to crack because of the grease hole. No, because, yeah, it's solid down here, which is smarter to have it on the top. <laughs> yeah, well, the other side, it's reversed. The grease hole comes out the bottom. That one probably would break. I wonder if they're just 180'd from each other. Yeah. There you go. Thank you. 
we're putting on our jackets not because it's cold at all just the mosquitoes up here are insane yeah. so just the more we can cover up the better so okay we're pulling up here gonna back up to this and try to get it level get the out the other wheel off and drag it onto Mount Washington over there high through the trees. And Casey here. I don't have any gloves in this truck. I didn't drive it for so long that No dollies, no gloves. Well, I only got this thing fixed yesterday. Oh, well. Oh. Come on, mosquito, go away. But I got snow socks. <laughs> You're just going to do a so, oh, regular shackle? You know what I'm going to do? Because every time I say a shackle or a clevis or do whatever, it starts a whole argument in the comments about, about what? what these are actually called. So, this one is a shackle, this one is a clevis. Do you know what the difference is? They're brothers. The difference is I called this one a shackle and this one a clevis. <laughs> really? Well, you're just going to put that in the hole? Yeah. So... Hey, mosquito in my ear. Did it make a buzzing sound? Um, well, I just luckily with the hearing aids you couldn't go all the way in. <laughs> <laughs> oh, look at that. Works so sweet. You want to get that off the strip? Yeah, it's so, clear over here. You need to set down on us to loosen this. Okay. Both of those straps in the one and then go to the front with the other one. I think I need to. Now it's like this, we'll be able to set the back end out on the ground. Like this. Oh, you can scoot the trailer under quite a way that way. So you're going to one cable to the front and one cable to the back? No. No. Two cables to the front. One is going to be straight off the boom lifting. And the other The other one? is going to go to the front of that trailer and a snap block back to it to pull it up. Oh, okay. So I can hold it up and pull at the same time. So if you want to get moved over as best you can here, and then I'll get positioned after that. One day, I'm going to get to be the cameraman this is all yours. Alright. You better put directions on these little arms here so I'll know what's going on. I don't know what they do. Why do you need to? Yeah, that's true. Cut it, passenger. Hard. Yeah, it's going to hit the tire, though. Boom, right there. It's not going to go under any further anyway.
You're so lined up good. Over here? Huh? That's why it won't pull. Check this out. It pulled up a giant boulder over here. That's why it was, uh... I was like, there's no way it should be this hard to pull. Uh, well, we're mostly over it. Or around it. Or around it, so... See if we or pull past it. Will that log help lift it up? I don't think so. I think we're going over it now. I was like, this thing is just, like, anchored in. Yeah. Oh, give her a try. So in the process, we did a boulder, pushing it sideways, it doesn't line up anymore. Now we're past it. You're past! It still scooted a few inches back. It did. I think that other brake tracker might have just... You missed the ramp over the here. Yeah, that rock is... Oops. That rock screwed us and jumped the whole thing over. But... I could come back around here and just pick it up and scoot it. It might be easier than trying to fight it. Because you're where we want you to be, so. What if I set the tongue down right there and just pick this up, scoot it over, and then uh, winch it on? Just take a little longer reset and stuff, but that rock totally screwed us. They're good over here. So, now we just gotta do the same thing that we just did last time, but not screw it up this time. You only get two tries. Right. Whoa, wheel lift. What, you spilled my drink? Huh? Spilled my drink? I did spill your drink, so now I gotta hold it in my lap. Oh. I have a cup of this. That's the trouble with these old vehicles. <laughs> easy, easy, easy. Whoa, gotta go down some more. That's okay. Oh, it'll, it'll protect it. jacket I'm sweating so much I'm just attracting more mosquitoes I'll slap them how's that yeah I put this on because it's thin it's a because it's a rain jacket it's a sauna suit You're on.
Try this side. Well, this side probably go down. Yeah, it did. Drop it down a little bit. You're dragging the. Uh, there you go. Okay, you're over the rear axle now. Yeah, I'll put it on the truck. <laughs> it served a good purpose. Yeah. So, took some finagling, but we got the trailer on the trailer. We had to reposition a few times because, like, we were at the point where I was like, it wasn't perfect, but I'm like, that's good enough. And then this rock took our good enough and put it to not even close. So. We had to move everything over again and, and then it went on no problem. So now it's up there. I'm going to pull the drum out of this rim and then put the two rims under the front and set it on it. So they ride right there and this thing sits nice on the trailer. Get it all strapped down and start folding everything up. And then we still had to get it all the way back out of the woods. I am getting absolutely roasted. Where did I get a whole bunch of them? Why aren't they all over you? I don't know. They're like after me. They got me bad. You're standing over there like nothing. I've been shaking them off. That's why the camera was pointing at the trees. Oh, shaking the mosquitoes away? Yeah. Yeah, there's just a few mosquitoes. <laughs> Alright, so they are headed out. And we're going to follow them, but Grumpy is not in the truck because he's got to go pee. And he is a way braver man than I am because I've had to pee really bad this whole time. But there are way too many mosquitoes here for me to even attempt that. So, I will hold it. It's like that thing was cut just perfect for it. Yep. If it fits, that means we fit. Oh, except for the, the rock I didn't see there. My bad. So, if anybody knows a good natural mosquito repellent, let me know some ideas, because they, they had a lot of uh, the normal mosquito spray, and they offered it to us, but my my wife is like deathly allergic to it and has a horrible like, asthma attack and reactions if I put it on and go near her and so like we're getting destroyed by mosquitoes and they had mosquito repellent but I'd rather get bit by a bunch of mosquitoes than use a mosquito repellent and then go home and my wife starts crawling all up on me because I'm so irresistible and such and then and then she has a bad reaction to it so if you got any suggestions Put it in the comments below. I need to figure out something that can keep the mosquitoes off of me, but uh, not keep my wife off of me. The wheels are still there, yep. so. Still tight, so. Like I said, if it made it through that, it'll make it down the highway, so. Yeah. Um, you, sir, are good to go. Awesome. Thank you, man. No problem at all. It, uh, yeah, keep your eyes peeled. We gotta have a thank you coming. Um, Don't worry about it. This can't be free. It's free, for real. <laughs> you can confirm to everybody that that's not fake. I, he even turned the camera off. I had my he, camera going. I've yeah. been talking about it. And I said, okay, now we got business. Yep. we got to do some business. He turned the camera off and goes, okay, now that the camera's off, how much is it really? How much I, was it I really? Said, what not? I said, okay, so what do I owe you? And he goes, not a thing. I was like, you got to shit me. A lot of people, when I tell them that ahead of time, and then when I say it for real afterwards, they don't believe it. But. And I didn't ask till now because I honestly didn't care. Whatever this cost, we had to get out. Um, well, are you happy with what it costs? <laughs> <laughs> well, a handshake is what it costs. Yeah.
Stay tuned. Yep, you guys have a good one. Thank you so much. No problem, you have a good drive back. Grumpy! Oh, sorry, I left the door open in the buzzer again. I was killing him over here. I do that to him all the time. Everybody's always surprised that it's really free. That's what? That it's really free. Oh, yeah. It cracks me up. Like, you could tell them it's free, and, and then at the end, they're like, okay, they once the camera's off, how much I really owe you? Yeah, they don't get it. Uh -uh. They don't believe it. Well, that's because most people would charge so much to do. Yeah, but I have these people. You have YouTube right there. Yep, and you guys are what makes it so I can do this for people like that. And uh, we both very much appreciate that. So thank you for watching. Hopefully you enjoyed that. I did. It was good to have Grumpy back out. Yeah, even though I filmed the trees. <laughs> <laughs> you, you filmed I tend the trees. to wander. <laughs> I had to get you back on the 360 cam so I can yeah. just repoint it in the edit. <laughs> Thanks for watching. Take care. Now on the way out, we get a view of the other mountain.